Let's take a look at a solid state voltage regulator. I've got one here. This is an SSR-60 uh, VA, and the VA stands for variable uh, AC output. Okay, and we vary the output with a potentiometer down here. Okay. Now these are the same form factor as the solid state relays. I've got a couple here. This one here is an SSR. 25 dd so 25 amps and we have a, a dc input and it switches a dc load this one switches from 5 to 200 volts dc and this one here is an ssr-50 50, 50 amps da so it uh, we turn it on with a, a dc input here and it switches an ac load from 24 to 380 volts ac but this one here is a um, it varies the uh, the load on here. It varies the voltage to the load, and it does that through the uh, potentiometer there. But we'll take a look at the voltage here. So it's live right now, and if I put my meter on here, you can see it's 120 22 volts. I got 120 volts in here. But if I go to one side of the potentiometer down here, it's still 120 volts. So that potentiometer. It, is live with uh, mains voltage on it so you got to be very careful with that so uh, you know you think that'd be low voltage or something but it's it's mains voltage uh, and if I turn the turn this up I won't brighten it up all the way but it, it dims this is an uh, incandescent lamp it's a de uh, uh, resistive load and so it dims that very nicely now we take a look at you know what's inside this thing so I've got a couple guesses I'm thinking it's it could be a, uh, a triac and uh, we you know we trigger that with a, a diac just like a, a, a cheap dimmer and then it varies the uh, the voltage to load and what it does to vary the voltage it, it clips the leading edge of the sine wave and uh, so the more you clip it the the less uh, voltage you get so that's uh, that's how this uh, triac will work now you know, it could be that it has a couple um, uh, MOSFETs in there. These are put back to back. You put the line up here, the load here, and the neutral on the other side of the load. And then you, you feed this with a signal from, a, uh, you know, some kind of a uh, microprocessor. And you control the, uh, the load that way. And uh, these are very nice, and, put, and they have a trailing edge. They clip the trailing edge. So it makes a nicer signal because you have a, when you're ramping up, it ramps up normally and then it clips up when it's it's when the voltage is dropping off this one clips the voltage uh, the rising voltage so this one's leading edge this one's trailing edge and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the uh, scope and we're going to put this on the oscilloscope and uh, see what happens you know my bets are on this one because this is a cheap unit it was only six dollars shipped to me so i doubt if they're going to put a couple mosfets in there so We'll go to the, the uh, scope. Sure, we are at the oscilloscope, and I'm going to uh, try to determine what's what's inside this uh, SSR here, which, whether it's a uh, triac or a, a pair of uh, MOSFETs in here. So we're going to turn the uh, potentiometer up, and there we are. We're clipping the the uh, the leading edge here. So um, there, it's all the way bright. Now we're clipping the edge. And it's all the way off that way now one problem with this or one if you try to probe this uh, right now I'm, I'm doing it right across the load and of course I have an isolation transformer and a high voltage probe on here and uh, but if you take and uh, uh, take the the probe and probe across the uh, switch itself or the the SSR it looks like we have a, a, a lagging edge here it's being tripped but in effect it's the uh, it's the lead it's the leading edge is being tripped so that's all there is to it so it's a it's a triac so back to the uh, other video all right and we're back now it was a uh, leading edge so we know it's a, probably a triac in there and uh, let me clarify how we're probing this thing so um, of course on the uh, I have it uh, going through a uh, isolation transformer and I have the uh, the ground of the uh, uh, ground probe on this over on this side here right on the neutral and then if I put the um, 
probe on this side here, we get a the sine wave, the first one you see, which was eclipsed the leading edge of the sine wave. But if I put it over here on this side, it looks like it's clipping the, the uh, trailing edge, okay? And when you put it on here and the uh, pot is turned off or the load is, is off, you get a, a sine wave. And when you turn it all the way up, the voltage drops to zero across here because it just acts like a switch. So you have zero voltage. So it's just the opposite. And uh, so when you're probing it, you want to probe it over here to get the what's across the load there. This one, you'll think it, that it's uh, a trailing edge, but it's not. Anyway, uh, so the I'm pretty sure it's a diac, a triac in there. So what happens on this triac? We have a diac here, which is a couple uh, uh, diodes here, and what they do is they, they'll break down at about 30 volts and turn on. Okay, so we have a capacitor and a resistor here. And it makes an RC time constant. So when this capacitor charges up to 30 volts, it triggers the diac, which turns the, the triac on. Okay, and you vary the time that it turns on with the uh, with the potentiometer here. So that's all you're doing. You're using a, an RC time constant to trigger the diac, which triggers your triac. So it uh, it'll clip the uh, the sine wave coming in uh, at a certain point. So that's all you're doing there. Now. One other caution on this thing, of course, you know, this is live here. The, uh, it says 60 amps, but it's, it's not 60 amps. Um, the equipment, you take the equipment current divided by a coefficient, okay? So for an inductive load on this unit, the coefficient is 20%. So say that I had a motor that drove uh, 12 amps, it's an inductive load. I divide that by my 20% or 0.20, that comes out to 60 amps. That's, so that's the max I can have on here. Okay, so it's not good for 60 amps. It's good for a 12 amps on the inductor. And the resistive load, you have to divide by 35, so it's even less. So it's probably about 8 amps or so on, the, on, the, uh, on a, a resistive load. So that's your, uh, that's your current there, you know. Uh, it's a little confusing to have 60 on there, but uh, it's only good for uh, 12 amps on an inductive load and less than that on the uh, resistive load. So on this one here, I have a, a heat sink on there, and then I, I put this on myself for the, uh, the potentiometer there. But uh, it works. I'm going to put it in a, a sealed container in a metal box and keep all the live parts inside because it's, uh, it gets a little dangerous like that. So you've got to be careful with these things. And uh, But that's, uh, that's a... Uh, very, uh, solid state uh, voltage regulator in a solid state uh, relay package. So, thank you.